Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we will install Zimbra Collaboration Server on Oracle Linux 7.7. .7. Let's get started. Here I have installed Oracle Linux and log in to the shell as a root user. I have configured this server with private IP. So this is a private server or local network server. I have uh, prepared this server only for the uh, Zimbra installation demonstration. I have a local DNS here and from my uh, Oracle Linux server, my IP and my host name are resolvable. So let's check everything, the prerequisite uh, before installing the Zimra server. So my host name is Mailer and my fully qualified domain name is mailer.mailserverguru.com. And the DNS domain name is mailserverguru.com. I have set up this at the host file. Here is the IP address and the FQDN and the host name. If I check now the MX record for this domain, it will show that mail.mailserverguru.com is the authorized mail server for this domain. I have no IP table rule right now and I have disabled the SA Linux. Now let's upload the Zimbra collaboration server package here. I have uploaded the Zimbra collaboration package 8.8.15. As of this date, uh, this version number is the up to date or the latest one. So we are using Red Hat release 7.7. .7. This is actually Oracle Linux and the Zimbra package is rel 7 underscore 6.4. This is for the Red Hat flavors operating systems like Fedora, Red Hat, CentOS and Oracle Linux. So let's untar this package. And before that, we should do an EM update and EM upgrade. I have done already. So you should uh, give this to command EM update and then EM upgrade to upgrade all the packages before installing the system. It is recommended. Let's short out the folder name. Let's run the installation script. Now it says, do you agree with the terms and the license agreement? Yes. The system checking for existing installation nothing's installed so it will install every package here so we are agreeing with the license agreement let's hit enter use zimbra package repository yes importing zimbra gpg key configuring package repository so these are the packages it found from the local uh, tar zz package now select the package to install. Install Zimbra LDAP, yes. Logger, MTA, DNS cache, SNMP, store, Apache, spell, memcache, proxy, drive, and Zimbra IMFD. It is not recommended yet. Zimbra chat. Okay, the system will be modified. Continue, yes. Now the installation begins and this is the log file it shows now it will take some time to download all the packages during the download we can see 
that there is so many packages Zimra used to install. Zimra core component, time zone data, LDAP components, so many packages it will install. Now we just downloaded the Zimbra proxy components. Now removing some temporary entries here, clean up and finish removing Zimbra collaboration server. Now installing the package. So these are the components it's installing. Now it's installing the local packages. Installing extra packages. Now running the post installation configuration it's already done the package installation now it shows the dns error resolving mx for mailer.mailserver.com it takes actually the full fqdn and it's searching for the uh, mx record of this whole fqdn but it should search only for the domain's mx record so it's as that it is suggested that the domain name have an mx record configured in dns so it uh, takes the whole fqdn as the domain name but it's not right so we should mention here only the domain name so type yes and put the domain name only now it will find and now it finds everything now checking for the port conflict port conflict is detected so maybe during the os installation maybe another uh, mailer daemon like postfix may be installed so let's log into the system again and check the port status here you can see that the local loopback ip n25 port is occupied with the master process this is basically postfix process system ctl Now if we check again, now the 25 port is free, we can disable the postfix service. Okay, now press enter to continue. Now it's okay. Now it shows the configuration option here the star marks means that we need to set the admin password so we choose 7 now we choose 4 let's say our password is admin123 okay select R for the previous menu we are done here and A for the apply configuration saving configuration yes save config in file the system will be modified continue yes now it will uh, configure the whole gcs one after another settings we have to wait and see most of the part here untouched and no need for manual intervention Here it shows us the store configurations, status, create admin user, web server, HTTP port, various ports, spell server URL, the version update notification email, to whom it will send the email. Now installing the SSL certificates. Here you can see that installation steps is finished and setting up everything is finished here now it asks us that notify zimbra for your installation we don't need that right now now it says the configuration complete please press return to exit now the installation is done if we receive to zimbra we can check 
the status of the services and uh, those all running okay all services are running we can browse the admin panel from here now we have successfully logged into the Zimbra administration console here we can see that all services are running and Zimbra version is 8.8.15 so this is it we have successfully installed GCS 8.8.15 or the latest edition up to this time on Oracle Linux 7.7 .7. so thank you for being with me and if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon i'll see you on the next video bye